Hey guys, welcome back to Handmade Home. I'm Hester and today I'm going to show you how you can heat proof your enamel coffee pot. I love my enamel kitchenware. I have the falcon plates and the cups and the bowls and the pans and the coffee pot. I just love how simple it is and how I can use it outside and inside. It's so really great when I photograph stuff in my book because those plates just photograph really well. The only thing with a coffee pot is, because it's enamel, when the coffee's been in there for a while, the handle gets really hot, especially when I use it outside on the stove. So I thought I'll make it a little wrap. I'm gonna start with measuring the handle. And mine is 15 centimeters long. Also wrap it around. And mine is seven centimeters wide. You're gonna need a piece of leather. There's a leather still lying around like a metallic brown. Probably keen on this side, but I do really love the inside, so I'm gonna use this for my handle. If you don't like using leather, you can also use a thick felt like this. On the leather, on the side you're not using, measure your handle size. So for me that was 14 by 7. And cut this out. Sort of half a centimeter from the side and starting from half a centimeter from the top, I'm gonna to make a little mark every one centimeter. So on half, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, until you reach the end. And we're gonna do the same on the other side. The marks you just made need to become little holes. I'm using a revolving hole punch, but you can use one of the ones you use a little hammer as well. Just put it on the mark and press until you got a little hole. Now you need some thread and you can use like an embroidery one, or this is a linen one. I think I'm going to go for the leather thin one. I need a length that's twice the length of your handle. It's going to be 30 centimeters. Find a needle that's big enough to hold your thread. In my case, the leather ribbon needs quite a big hole in the needle. So I'm using this upholstery needle. Push it through one of the holes. And tie the ribbon in place. You're going to wrap the leather around your handle and you're simply going to stitch it together with the holes you just made. You can do any kind of stitch you like, but I quite like seeing the ribbon. So what I'm doing, I'm just pushing the needle in one hole and straight over to the other hole, making it nice and tight. And then go down again to the next hole and pushing it through both. Keep doing this until you reach the other side. When you reach the bottom, just simply double stitch it in place and tie in a strong knot. And cut off your ribbon. You can also trim the top bit of ribbon if that's a little bit too long. And your leather handle is done. You can add a side if you want to have the seam showing, or you can simply twist it to the inside so you have a nice neat edge. I love how the leather looks with the enamel. And normally I only clean the coffee pot on the inside anyway, and it's still fine to do. Try not to get the leather too wet, but don't pop it in the dishwasher. Just wash the pot with the inside by hand. And if the leather handle gets a little bit too manky, just take it off and make it again. It's very easy to make, so I think every couple of months you can just replace the handle when it gets too dirty. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and have a look on my website, hestershandmadehome.com, for more craft of this for your home. And I'll be back next week with a new video. See you then.